In this video, I'm going to review Xtool TP150 TPMS Programmer, as well as Xtool TS100 Programmable Universal Tire Pressure Sensors. This tool caught my attention because of its relatively low price. From all of my previous tire pressure sensor videos, the most common concern you guys expressed in the comments was that the price of the TPMS diagnostic tool is too high and you'd rather drive with bad sensors and just keep checking tire pressures weekly. I think the Xtool TP150 really solves this problem with price twice as low compared to other brands. If you are interested, I will drop a link for this tool down in the description area below. Go check it out. Included in the box, we're going to find the diagnostic tool itself. OBD2 cable, a charger with three different power outlet adapters, quick start guide, and a certificate of quality. It shows your tool model number, activation code, and manufacturing date. Overall, everything seems to be of a high build quality. I personally own some other programming devices made by Xtool and never had any issues with them in the past. Hopefully that will be my experience with this one as well. The tool comes with protective rubber case that should save it from drops and scratches. The menu looks very simple and intuitive. Under options, you can connect to Wi-Fi network to perform software updates. There are three pressure units of measurement to choose from, two units for temperature, Celsius and Fahrenheit. Next, you can choose tire pressure sensor format, decimal, hexadecimal, or automatic. Automatic power off setting can be set to three, five, or 10 minutes, or it can be turned off. There are 13 different languages to choose from. District setting allows you to choose world regions, since there could be different automotive standards depending on where you live. And finally, you can choose to turn the beeper on or off. Back to the main menu. You can choose to perform software upgrade using USB cable or through Wi-Fi connection. About section shows your device hardware and software specs. Now, let's take a look at the TPMS section. First, you need to choose your car manufacturer's region, Europe, America, or Asia. There are multiple car brands to choose from. Let me quickly scroll down through the list in case you need to verify that your particular vehicle is supported by this tool. Once you find your car on that list, you can perform five different functions with this tool. Check option allows you to test a single sensor to find out if it's working or not. And you can get the sensor ID number, pressure reading, temperature, and the battery status. Diagnostic option allows you to connect to OBD2 car diagnostic port and scan ECU for error codes to find out if there are any issues with the system rather than with the tire sensors. You can also clear TPMS error codes when applicable. Programming option lets you clone and replace your old tire pressure sensors using Xtool Universal sensors there are four ways of doing that. You can auto-generate a brand new sensor ID, manually enter ID, you can often find old sensor IDs listed on the sensor housing. Copy by activation would work only if your old sensors have weak batteries, but you are still able to trigger them to retire old sensor IDs. A copy by OBD enables you to connect and retrieve old sensor IDs directly from TPMS CCU. Relearn option is designed to be used when you replace some or all of the sensors in your car. You will need to trigger all sensors in the sequence shown on the screen to gather their IDs. After that, you can connect to OBD2 port and write those new sensor IDs to the TPMS ECU. And I was able to get rid of the TPMS lights on the dashboard. Information section allows you to look up the specs for OEM and Xtool Universal sensors that will be compatible with your car. Under recent test, you can quickly access specific cars that you recently scanned instead of searching for them on the TPMS menu list. I used this tool and Universal sensors to replace old sensors on my car. These sensors support both 315 and 433 MHz, which will work with pretty much every single car out there because those are the only two frequencies used in all TPMS sensors. I also upgraded to a new set of tires on my wife's car and was able to register them.
so overall, I was very pleased with it. It is just as capable as other more expensive tools that I've used in the past. And I think that Xtool might be a real game changer since it does everything just as well, but for half the price, which means more people will be able to afford it. I hope this video was helpful for you to make educated decisions. And if so, please give it a like. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.